If you've been hearing the buzz about blockchain technology and have been wondering what it's all about, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of blockchain. So whether you're a newbie or just looking to brush up on your knowledge, stick around because we're about to understand the concept of blockchain. Did you notice that in the past few years, the term blockchain technology has become quite popular? If you're scratching your head wondering what exactly it is, don't worry. You're not alone. In this segment, we'll answer the burning question, what is blockchain technology? Blockchain is all about secure information storage. It's like a digital fortress that's incredibly tough to breach, making it perfect for applications like cryptocurrency. Think of it as a digital ledger distributed across a network of computers. Then each transaction will be verified by the owner's digital signature. It will make the ledger super secure. In short, it's like a shared Google spreadsheet, but with unbreakable security provided through cryptography and distributed consensus mechanism. The cryptography ensures that transactions will not be altered, while the distribution across multiple nodes eliminates single points of failure. But why is blockchain creating such a buzz? Let's consider that you're transferring money to a friend. While it might seem simple, traditional methods can be tampered with easily. It's like a guardian of data integrity. It provides transparency, decentralization, immutability, and pseudonymity. Since the ledger is distributed and transactions are cryptographically secured, blockchain builds trust in record keeping and interaction. It's more than just Bitcoin, it's a technology that's changing industries. But how does blockchain work? It will work as a fusion of three elements. The graphic keys will ensure secure interactions. Then the peer-to-peer -peer network will verify transactions. Finally, mathematical verifications will seal the deal and ensure secure digital interactions. At a high level, blockchain works through a peer-to-peer -peer network of nodes that each maintain a copy of the ledger. New transactions are propagated across the network and collected into blocks by special nodes called miners. Miners validate transactions and compete to add new blocks to the chain. Photography like digital signatures and hashing will secure the interaction. Let's take a look at the types of blockchain. First, let's talk about private blockchain networks. These operate within closed circles and are great for businesses. They offer customization options and enhanced security features. Imagine a locked vault accessible to only a select few. That's the idea behind private blockchains. Next, we have the ones that started it all. It's a public blockchain network. These open networks will distribute data across peers rather than centralize it. Public blockchains have no access restrictions. Anyone can join the network, submit transactions, and view the blockchain data. Consensus is permissionless. Consensus algorithms like proof of stake and proof of work will keep things secure and decentralized. Now let's talk about permission blockchain networks. Sometimes it is called hybrid blockchains. These offer a middle ground. They're like the VIP sections within a private party. Only authorized participants will get access to this. It will be perfect for organizations seeking a balance between control and transparency. Consortium blockchains are up next. Here, multiple organizations manage a single network. It's like a team effort where everyone's in charge. These blockchains offer enhanced security and are ideal for collaboration. Have you ever heard of hybrid blockchains? They're a blend of public and private. Imagine a room with glass walls. Some information is public, some is not. This is perfect for situations where transparency and privacy both matter. Now it's time for sidechains. These are like the cool siblings of the main blockchain. They run in parallel, allowing new experiments without affecting the main chain's integrity. Other types like side chains allow experimentation by running parallel chains with interoperability with the main chain. Multi-chain architectures involve multiple interconnected blockchains, optimizing for different purposes. It's like building a skyscraper of blockchains, each with its own rules. It's the heart of a blockchain. Let's now see how decisions are made to change transactions on-chain. The foundational concept of blockchain is immutability. Transactions recorded on a blockchain are considered almost unchangeable once they're confirmed and added to a block. This feature ensures data integrity and builds trust in the system. But what if a mistake is made or fraudulent activity is detected? Here's where the decision making process comes into play. Changes to transactions can be necessary for various reasons, like correcting errors or preventing malicious activity. The power to change transactions lies in the hands of the blockchain's consensus mechanism. This mechanism is a set of rules that determine how nodes in the network agree on the validity of the transaction, making it nearly impossible due to the computational power required. On the other hand, proof of stake operates differently. Validators, also known as forgers, are chosen based on the amount of cryptocurrency they hold. 
and are willing to stake as collateral. These validators take turns adding blocks. Changing your transaction will require a significant majority agreement among validators, ensuring a higher level of security. However, both POW and POS cannot easily undo transactions without a coordinated hard fork which comes with its risk. Immutability still remains strong. Nodes are the participants in the blockchain network who will play a vital role in decision making. To change a transaction, a consensus among the majority of nodes is required. This consensus prevents any single entity from tampering with the blockchain. Occasionally, changes to transactions might lead to a fork, where the blockchain splits into two separate chains. A soft fork requires backward compatible changes, while a hard fork results in an entirely new blockchain. Updates and changes are typically proposed by developers and require community agreement. Many blockchain projects have a governance model that involves community voting. This ensures that the decisions to change the transactions are made collaboratively, representing the interests of stakeholders. Let's now look at the node ecosystem. There are different types of nodes, like full nodes, lightweight nodes, master modes, and more. Nodes can take on specialized roles like mining, staking, storage, gateway access, and more. Optimizing node incentives and infrastructure is crucial. Think of a node as a participant in a vast network, responsible for validating, storing, and broadcasting transactions in block. Each node will contribute to the decentralization and the security of the blockchain. Here's where tools like Truffle, Ganache, Geth, Infera, Alchemy, and Metamask come into play, working in harmony to create a seamless blockchain experience. Truffle and Ganache are like the architects of a blockchain city. Truffle provides a development environment and testing framework while Ganache acts as a personal blockchain for testing smart contracts. They make the development process smoother and more efficient. Truffle offers features like smart contract compilation, linking, deployment, binary management, and automated testing. Ganache provides a personal Ethereum blockchain for rapid prototyping and testing. Gef is the gatekeeper of the Ethereum network. It's a command line interface that allows you to interact with Ethereum nodes. Gef runs the Ethereum client, syncing with the network and providing an entry point for developers. Gef is written in Go and implements the full Ethereum node protocol. It synchronizes the blockchain, mines blocks, transfers funds, and deploys smart contracts. Advanced features like private networks and developers APIs are included. Now, let's talk about Cloud Companions, Infer, and Alchemy. They provide remote Ethereum nodes as a service relieving developers from managing their infrastructure. These tools simplify access to the blockchain network, making development more accessible. Infer and Alchemy handle node management and permit developers to focus on building blockchain applications. They provide scalable API access to Ethereum and IPFS protocols. MetaMask is like the passport to the blockchain city. It's a browser extension that allows users to interact with decentralized applications directly from their browsers. MetaMask securely manages users' keys and connect them to blockchain networks. MetaMask serves as a crypto wallet and a gateway to blockchain apps. It manages identities, signs transactions, and enables easy payments and interactions with dApps in a simple user interface. Let's picture this. You're a developer building a decentralized app. You use Truffle to write and test your smart networks on Ganache, your local test network. When you're ready, you deploy your smart contracts to the Ethereum network using Geth, Fura, or Alchemy. Users access your app through MetaMask, connecting to the blockchain and making secure transactions. This demonstrates how various tools unite to enable a seamless blockchain development workflow, from coding and testing smart contracts, to accessing blockchain networks and delivering user experiences. Now, let's see this in action. Blockchain isn't just about cryptocurrencies. It's revolutionizing various industries. From supply chain management to healthcare, blockchain ensures transparency, traceability, and security in data exchange. Use cases like decentralized finance are disrupting traditional finance. Brands like Walmart are using blockchain for supply chain tracking. Estonia has adopted blockchain ID systems. The possibilities are endless across sectors. And there you have it, blockchain explorers. We hope you found this crash course enlightening. If you enjoyed this insightful journey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech adventures. Until next time, keep innovating and keep exploring.